guys it's sassy assassin here back with another video hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far it is currently april 5th 2024 and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to a food review video titled flying red eye international flight from kuwait to canada travel vlog so without further ado folks let's get to i have this on 1.25 i will slow it down or speed it up if i feel the need to do so Hello, welcome back to a mixed bag vlog. This has nothing to do with my travel journey vlog, but I forgot to add this during my last Ramadan vlog uh, where we went out for iftar, so this was supposed to be in that. This is just me picking out some hijabs, my my new navy blue one that you saw in my recent video. So yeah, that's what I got. I love getting a new hijab. As you can see, my black one here is very worn out and it was time for a different color, for sure. All right, so I got a couple undercaps and a hijab. Well, it's that time again. Time to pack the CPAP and the fan and head on to the airport. All right, guys, this is my fit for the airport. Um, have my I'm not gonna lie, I do like the colors though of the hijab with the with the tan. Uh, um, is that like a, a I'm not sure what that is a cap, like an undercap underneath. So she did pick like the, a nice some nice colors for. The, for this uh the hijab and the undercap backpack on my new glasses that my husband bought for me today um salah's taking me to the airport now i'm going to be flying a red eye flight to frankfurt germany my flight leaves at 1 45 a.m here in kuwait to frankfurt and then frankfurt to um montreal so yes yella let's head out as we were approaching the departure section of the Kuwait airport, my anxiety started to get higher and higher and higher. All right, about to go to the check-in counter. Salah must be giddy with excitement to get Chantal out of his hair so that way he can, you know, go meet his n next Kybella. There's my luggage. Maybe this time he'll find somebody actually willing to move in with him wouldn't that be funny that all that why chantal's why chantal is gone that salah just secretly moves in somebody else <laughs> oh my god that, that'll be that would be just i can't like great like an iconic moment to behold see pop yellow I see the filters are working over time. You can you can tell a little bit. You can tell. Girl, we're not buying what you're selling. Okay. She can, like, she's, like, real can barely fit, fit on that escalator. Even with all the filters, girl. Damn. Clearly now I have the glasses. <laughs> He's happy. He just chuckled. He's like, yes, I'm finally going to get her out of my hair. So now I can, you know find my next kybella i can find the next kybella so i can worship her ass for how many hours i don't do it as good as ffg okay I, okay but i i try my best to imitate <laughs> so since this time i'm flying with lufthansa airlines we made it over to the lufthansa counter so i could check in i am flying economy regular economy as per usual for this flight. Check-in was rather uneventful and pretty normal. It went smoothly. Time to say goodbye to my love for only god knows how long and make my way through this zigzaggy thing. I hate. Time to go through security. So I made it through security and uh, I'm a little dizzy adjusting to my glasses but I'm gonna get a water. I'm so thirsty. The duty-free place here where you have to show your passport to get a water. Look at more tang. 
Let's go get a $8 water. Look at these cool tins. Oh, there's the water. Oh, that's cool. I really want a gummy bear. 16 bucks. I'm so thirsty. I'm gonna get a couple of these bad boys. This display is really cool here at the Kuwait airport. So I'm at gate 26, let's go. Bunch of filler content. I buy a ton of drinks at airports more than anything because of all the walking, it gets hot and I get very thirsty. So I try to get something with vitamins and low sugar. Really, girl? We know you t that we know you, Chantal, and we know that you drink juice like full sugar juices, like by the sh by the gallon. Okay, like seriously. N now you're pretending that you care about the sugar content? Girl, please. Get, get out of my face. Be a weird thing to say, but why do I find this part soothing? I don't know why it's so weird. I'm just sitting here, I'm just like, oh, just look at all the pretty lights. I'm in a weird mood today. Man, the screens are so small, and the entertainment system is of poor quality on Lufthansa. So I decided to try and watch Wonka, but I don't like musicals and I don't like Timothy Chalamet. They also gave us some dusty. Is her be up with a beef with Tim Timothy Chalamet? He is such a nice, like seriously nice, like person. From what I, you know, from what I've like seen, like uh, him, like just interviews and stuff like that, like, and he's not that bad of an actor. Like for real, I I've seen some of his movies, and um, in my humble opinion, I've liked some of his movies. Like I. I liked him in Little Women. Um, I will always prefer, like, the Winona Ryder version with Christian Bale. But, like, he did a good lorry. Like, and I've actually seen Wonka, and it's not half bad. Like, seriously. Um, dates. <laughs> and to swallow that down, a bottle of water, but it was pretty warm, actually. They also don't have individual air vents. I was so hot and uncomfortable, like the whole flight. They served a cold vegetarian sandwich, they called it. it. has cream cheese and peppers and things. Something about this evil sandwich gave me the worst indigestion. It was so uncomfortable. It was so bad. Wouldn't you have asked for something else? I like when planes have these little individual cup holders. Most do, but some airlines I've been on don't actually, so. I love watching the flight map. I like seeing where around the world I'm going to. It's just a really cool concept for me. Lufthansa handed out these complimentary chocolates near the end of our journey. So, yeah. Overall, flying with Lufthansa wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the worst. So, it was alright. Wakey, wakey, time to land. This is why they call it Red Eye, as you can see. Uh, I hate the transfer to terminal buses. They're always packed and they're always hot. All right, I got a seat on the bus and no one else needed one because I usually give them to elderly. But look how big the plane looks. Oh my gosh. And we are at the Frankfurt airport. I'm going to make my way to secure. You usually give them to elderly. I, I, I don't believe that for a second. Security and my gate. I'm just literally so spent and exhausted at this point. Seriously. Yeah, so there's this like attraction at the Frankfurt airport where you can sit and take a picture beside this um, 
Albert Einstein statue. I didn't bother going, but that's cool. So I had to do a lot of walking oh, and everything, but my gate B required that I take this little bus. I've always wanted to go to Germany. Like, seriously. I don't know if you guys know this, but my family has very strong roots in Germany. Well, I think I have already I already have told you. There's like literally, literally a, a, t a village slash town named after my family. That still exists to this day. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's existed for... Oh, God. I mean, I'm talking about, like, I'm talking, like, since maybe... Uh, medieval times, Viking times. Like, the, the, those towns slash villages has been around for a very long time. So, I'm waiting for the bus. Finally made it to my gate for Air Canada, going to Montreal, my fan, I got some more drinks, my puffer for my asthma. This is a sugar-free, fruit and mint infused drink. It was pretty good, actually, and refreshing. Gloomy early morning in Germany today. And here comes the plane I'll be on soon. They just gotta clean it and get it ready. Flying Air Canada, I think for the first time, other than being young, for in my adult life at least. And I'm wearing compression socks to try to reduce the swelling and risk of blood clots. They're just black, they blend with my pants and shoes. All aboard seat 38K on Air Canada, Airbus A330 to Montreal. The screens are already huger and the leg room and the gut room is so much better. hours later oh mg i'm finally here okay having a cranberry juice i'm starving like a uh, chicken sandwich no it's not halal but they don't have halal food where bullshit bullshit i don't believe that i am so sometimes i'm not gonna eat halal <laughs> and sour cream and onion chips because i've been missing these I get it like chips in a sandwich is i mean it's not bad i mean but still it's like you could have found something halal or yeah how is it hell out yeah it's hello i'm sorry people are gonna be looking at me weird but whatever I'm talking to myself nobody is looking at you they don't care seriously that's one thing that i learned very quickly as an adult not everybody is looking at you. You're at the center of everybody's attention. Like, nobody cares. You're just, they're just going about their day just as much as you're going about your day. Talking to myself. My favorite juice? Cranberry. like right near a bunch of bus stops so well the bread is so fresh it's like moist bismillah we could put more mayo or something anyway i'm taking this express bus from um Montreal airport to go get my car The guy who was sitting beside me on the plane, he kept spilling wine all over me. I'm so annoyed. I was so over it. I'm so over people. I'm so over traveling. I don't want to just complain because, you know, alhamdulillah, I made it, but the amount of walking I did so my feet are like so sore. The sketchers are not cutting it. I need better sketchers. Did she just tr tell the train to shush? You're so that you're that entitled that you're telling the train to shush. Girl. Where's your coat? So why aren't you wearing a coat? It's Canadian winter. 
freezing, waiting for my bus. That's why you should bring a coat with you. You should have a, a coat in Kuwait that you can bring with you. That way when you come back and it's cold, you're not going to be cold. With chicken sandwich on my teeth. <laughs> I look so old! Why does she whine like that? <laughs> so annoying. It really is. You were 40 years old, girl. Come on now. I am 40 now. Busy street. I ordered- She just acts like a giant toddler all the time. It's super annoying. My taxi to go get my car. I don't know where I am. The bus dropped me off somewhere, I guess. I don't know. I forget. I ordered the bus ticket, but I don't know where I am. <laughs> anyway, adventure doesn't end until I'm in the Kia again. Tomorrow I'm going to clean it out. I have to get it fixed. It needs a little bit of repairs. Anyways. Which she'll spend $2,000 on. That is a lot. Um, I don't know what all she got done. But that's, just a, that's a lot of money. You know, the last time we had to do anything on our car was getting a new battery. And that cost us, oh God, it was like 200 maybe. See, my dad knows how to fix cars. Like, he knows how to do... He's done a lot of repair. Well, not very many repairs, because our car has been a really good car so far. But there are just some, like, minute things that have needed to be repaired. And he was... Ha a majority of the time, he's able to do it himself. And it's like, when I look at the cost of how much that would cost to get that fixed, it's like a couple hundred dollars, I think. And, like, one thing was like a... He just bought the part, whatever, it was like $15, and he installed it himself. And, like, if he were to take that in to get that fixed, it would cost him probably like $400 to, for the, the labor and the parts and everything. And it's like we literally spent like $15 on that part. I just think it's just outrageous, like, how how these, like, repair places, how much they charge people to get their car cars fixed. Well, you know you're in Canada when there's a Swiss chalet at almost every corner. <laughs> I've actually been there. It's, like, been a long time. But, like, uh, when we, one time when we were in Canada, we actually went to a Swiss chalet. Not bad food, I mean. Not the best, but, like, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, fast food place, but still. Hi, can I have a number, um, where, where was it? Number three, with cheese. Number three? Yeah. With, with yes, please, with onion rings and a Pepsi. A uh, diet Pepsi, sorry. And your toppings are lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and honey sauce? Uh, no, actually, just ketchup, mustard, and relish, please. Ketchup, mustard, relish? Yes. That's it? That's it. I got the bag. Seriously, though, if you've never had Harvey's, the Canadian chain, sorry, lip gloss gummy, um, they have, the, they have the best, and I'm starving. Like Robin just, just have a sandwich recently with some chips. So to clarify for halal, because you're probably wondering, well, aren't you Muslim? Aren't you going to eat halal? Rightfully so. I'm going to try to, or I can, like if I go grocery shopping for meat and stuff. But sometimes, like, I'm not going to worry about it as long as I'm not eating pork. So sometimes it's hard to find halal fast food here. I don't think you can at all. There's like one place. Central Bergham, I think. <laughs> There's so much to unpack with that, but, you know, me not being a Muslim, I don't know as much about, like, halal, but non-halal, but girl, you should go out of your way to try, at least. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, I'm gonna go down the long road now. All right. We're about to merge onto the long road. So for any newcomers, the long road is a road in Ottawa, Ontario. It's kind of my depression road or my mental health road. It's just like serene and calming and I always drive down here when I just need to clear my head and give myself a little bit of nostalgia or a mood boost or just to really think. So here's some food I've eaten so far being in Canada. 
I would be lying if I said that food wasn't a huge part of it, unfortunately, but um, broccoli, cream of broccoli soup. And here is a hot chicken I had, which is chicken between two slices of white bread with a bunch of gravy. And of course, Canadian staple is poutine. Yum. All right, guys, enjoy some Canadian early spring nature. Or she's got to gorge herself on, on, on pretty much everything that she's been missing. I mean, I get it. You know, you come home and you want a little bit of nostalgia, but girl... You have come back for your health, right? As I say goodbye to you all and thank you very much for watching my vlog and sharing this slice of my life. Uh, until next time. Bye, guys. I'm still not buying that she's coming back for her health. So far, I haven't seen her eat anything remotely healthy whatsoever. And she's just making up a bunch of excuses. It's like, girl, you are type 2 diabetes. You are... In my uh, in my uh, opinion, in the summer, sorry, in the, somewhere in the, in the 500s, okay, you don't have the option any longer to, you know, fuck around and find out kind of thing. You're in your 40s. Like, these are like your the last years of your life. If you want to turn things around and and live longer. And you got to just take this bull by the horns, basically, and just do it. You have the, the money, you have the means, you have the time. Like, girl. Anyways. Um, that is it for today's video. My dog, like when he's in here with me, he's like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see any more of her face. Um, that is it for today today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.